Welcome back everybody to episode 20 in our F1 manager career mode. Role playing as Dario Franchitti being the boss of AlphaTari. Got the Mexican Grand Prix up today. Short turnaround from Texas, only four days. Not a whole lot to do, really. Once we get back from Mexico, the next aerodynamic testing period opens up. We'll be able to research the final two pieces of the car that we have not done for next year, the front and rear wing. And we might also do some further research into a chassis because that seems to be the, the one part of the car for next year that is taking the biggest hit. So we'll try and do a another research project into that, not using up any of our wind tunnel time or fluid dynamics time. We'll chew all that into the front and rear wing and hopefully we'll be able to do something pretty good for next year. You know what, I think for Mexico, we're actually gonna go for the fastest lap. We've been pretty decent the last couple of races. I believe we got the fastest lap in Singapore. I'm pretty sure Pierre got it in Texas, and I think he also got it at Monza. So I think we are going to see if we can get another nearly 200 grand there by snatching the fastest lap towards the end there. Click on that one. And I think that is it. We are up to leaving for Mexico. Nothing popped up. So I'll catch you at the track. Music is in the air this weekend, but it's not mariachi we'll be hearing. It's going to be the roar of the engines and the cheers of the crowd. Formula One is back in the very heart of Mexico City at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. This is an exhilarating circuit on the Formula One calendar. We'll be sure to see plenty of battles and overtaking this weekend, especially with the help of not one, not two, but three DRS zones. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. Let's get this underway. Indeed, as Crofty said, the championship fight is well and truly on. With Science managing to win last time out in Texas and Leclerc having a bit of a tough day and finished P7, I believe. So the points gap is only 18 between Leclerc and Sainz. Three races to go, all to play for between those two. Going to be one of them to win the championship. I believe that Stappen is mathematically eliminated. We'll see how the two Ferraris fare in the next few races going to be a dry weekend from the looks of it partly cloudy for friday and saturday and then cloudy on sunday 71 lap race and i will catch you after practice is ready oh there's a spin let's take a look at the replay watch this there's leclerc and yes, that's where they spin out. I think there's been a lockup. Let's see what happened there. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Well, they've lost it. They've locked up. We can take a look now. Now let's look at this. The focus on Sonoda. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The car's just gone. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. Sounds like we've had a spin. Let's take a closer look. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. They lose it there. That's the spin. Oh, 
Oh, we've had a spin. Here's the replay. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. That looked like a very nasty spin. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, understood the okay. Two cars out. Copy. just crashed let's take a look at the replay now let's look at this here's George Russell you can clearly see the contact there and that caused a lot of damage someone spun out let's see what happened there let's take another look there we have Joe they spun the car what a disaster We return for the next day of our highly anticipated race weekend, which sees the end of practice and the start of qualifying. Ahead of the race tomorrow, the teams will be putting their practice data to use and making sure that their drivers have the very best chance of setting a lap time that will edge out the competition in qualifying. Drivers may know a track inside and out, but unless they have the setup to complement their ability, their efforts may be for nothing. So get yourselves comfortable it's going to be quite the ride. It's a crash! Let's have a look. So this was the Aston Martin. And that's an off, and a big off. We've just had a spin. Let's take a closer look. Now watch this, here's Alonso's car. Look at that! They've spun their car. Okay, so end of practice. And as you could see in practice two, Yuki got a penalty. Unfortunately, I missed the replay. He did say that he spun the car, so I'm guessing he spun and then crashed into somebody and got a grid penalty for that um a bit disappointing there but that was the only incident that he had i think i don't even think he ran wide in practice one we used liam lawson in practice one that's why pierre's track acclimatization is 20 percent lower than yuki's both have 100 percent confidence in the car yuki's got his full 15 performance bonus pierre's got 14 so we're looking Pretty good, I think. All right, there you go. So Yuki's penalty is three grid places. That's it. Not as bad as I was fearing. I was thinking he might get a six place penalty because it is his second one of the season, but I can live with three. Okay, end of Q1, and we just did the one run at the end. Yeah, did an 18-3, and Yuki made it through on an 18 Eight. About three tenths clear of Mick Schumacher from being eliminated there. The five, as expected, the two Aston Martins, the two Williams, and Mick Schumacher. Means Magnussen made it in. So Pierre looks pretty decent. He's around the same pace as what Fernando is. The Mercs look pretty quick. Lewis is nearly a second faster than George. Not sure what that's about. We'll see if George can find a bit better lap time in Q2 and make it into the top 10. But no real surprises. I will see you after qualifying too. They've locked up and gone straight on. We can take a look now. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes and they've locked up. 
There we go. Confirmation that Yuki is eliminated in Q3. He did go a bit quicker. He locked up on his first run on his outlap and managed to find a decent chunk of time on his last flyer. But unfortunately, all the guys he was racing against also found time and he is going to start at least 18th probably with his penalty. I might give him the new engine. I might just buy him one since he'll be starting at the back anyway, like what we did in Japan. But George did find a bit of time there, manages to squeeze in by, what, less than a tenth over Esteban, who misses out. Pierre did a pretty good lap there, finds just over a tenth to be P6. Couple tenths off Perez there, and right on the same pace as Fernando and Valtteri. The five who miss out, you have both McLarens, Yuki as we said, Kevin and Esteban Ocon. I will catch you after qualifying three. So at the end of qualifying, Pierre matched his Q2 time there and stays P6, a thousandth of a second in front of Alonso there. Of course, both Perez and Fernando have penalties, so they'll start behind Pierre, who will go to at least P5. So I don't know if Lewis has the upgrades on the car and George doesn't, but for whatever reason, he's been quite a ways off the pace behind the seven-time champ, who is right with everybody, eh? Just it's two tenths behind Leclerc, who of course won't start on pole. That'll be Verstappen and Sainz on the front row. I think I will take a new engine for Yuki. I thought about it more during that session and I think it just does make sense just to make sure that we get through the last two races with zero incident at all. I also think we miss out on one of our sponsor bonuses because I think one said we had to qualify both cars top 14. The grid is packed and there's electricity in the air, but there's no surprises in that. It's race day. Alpha Tauri did rather well in qualifying. Let's see if they can manage to achieve a strong start for the race itself. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. A sunny day here with only a few clouds in the sky. If things stay this way, the weather shouldn't pose any challenges to the team. And there are sure to be some dizzying strategies used here today, here in the Mexican Heights. The question is though, who's going to be the one to climb to the top? Okay, I've thought about it more and seeing that Yuki is starting P12, I am not going to give him a new engine, and Pierre is going to be starting P4. The game initially wanted us to start on the softs, but I think we're going to go on the medium. That gives us a bit more flexibility. If we need to, we can switch that middle stint to the hard tire, but I'm hoping we are able to save a little bit of tire at some point in the race, whether there's a safety car or whether we're just in a DRS train, we'll be able to save a little bit of tyre and not have to worry about them dipping below the 30%. That's my plan. We will see how it goes. Let's get this thing underway, shall we? Quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid. And there we have Pierre Gasly. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? And behind them, there's Sonoda. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Will their hard work pay off today? This is it. Here we go with the Mexican Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. I see a lot of medium compound tyres. Everybody except Mick Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel and Esteban Alcon are on the mediums. Pierre looks like he has lost a spot to Zhou Guan Yu, but he should be able to dive up the inside, I think. And he has. Good job. 
Yuki is battling away there with Alex Albon by the look of it. So we are there, so I'm going to go on standard on the tire, I think, right now. See if we can save, as I said. We'll keep it on deploy. And we'll just burn some of this fuel. It's a spin! Here's the replay. Now we see the Williams here. And there it is. That's where they spin out. Well, that will help Yuki. Oh, not really. Albon got back underway. And we now have gone from one and a half seconds behind Mick Schumacher to four and a half. I'm going to keep Yuki on overtake here. Oh, Yuki around the outside. What a move. Okay, defend. Yuki, defend, buddy. And now I think we just need to go. See if we can pull away from Albon. No available. No available. We'll go deploy for Pierre as well. See if we can catch that back up to Max. Here we are over a second on Albon now, so we should be able to pull away. So I'm just going to go back to standard. Okay, yeah, didn't quite manage to get in range either. So I'm going to go back to neutral with him and we'll see what our pace is compared to Joe. So Leclerc did start way at the back. Vettel's doing a pretty good job, actually. Staying ahead of Leclerc, although I do see that Leclerc has now cleared Fernando and Vettel. Okay, that's bad. See if Sebastian can hang with Charles down this straight. He has. That might help him actually. Pull away a little bit from Fernando. We can get that up to like two seconds. That'd be great for him. He is out of range now, unfortunately, and Fernando is right there. Yuki's cut that gap down. It was close to seven seconds. It's now five and a half. Claire gets through on Yuki. Ferrari, advance the race position. Let's take a look at the replay. Okay, here's the Ferrari. A bold move indeed. And with that, they've gained a position. That's fine. I don't mind that. We are going to go back to standard on the tyre, though. For both of them. Just for now. If we can get to, like, lap 27 or 28, that'd be amazing. We'll see. Two cars out. No DRS available, no DRS available. Safety car, safety car. Okay, I'm going to... We're going to make an audible here. We're going to go on to the hard for both these guys, I think. It's a collision! Let's see what happened there. Okay, here's the Ferrari. There's the hit, and it's crystal clear who was in the wrong there. So it was Charles who flubbed it. In comes Yuki. We're going to put the hards on now. And I think we will go for as long as we can.
So I don't know what tires those boys went to. They did go to hard, so hards is the way to go right now. So I'm going to pit Charles, ah uh, Charles, Pierre as well. I'm gonna ask him to go into the hards. The question is, are the top three gonna stop? Science carries on. Hamilton's in. That's an interesting one. We are going to box onto a set of the hards as well for Pierre. It's a few laps early, but we do get a couple laps under the safety car. We'll have to see what Bottas, Ricardo, Magnussen do as well. Looks like they're carrying on. How are their tyres? 70%. So we should come out in front of Joe, and we do. Okay, so when are we gonna go? We're gonna probably gonna go now, I guess. I'm gonna go aggressive. We'll go push, we'll go deploy. Because of course we will be using our engine power right now and the tyre. See if we can get around anybody. We'll be stopping again. Need to see if we can get around Magnuson and Ricardo. Ricardo had a look there at Valtteri. Oh, Yuki got around Lando. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver. And they clear it. Big move for them and a race position gain. Yeah, having a look. Can't quite manage it. Go overtake, I think. See if we can do anything. Come Pierre, dive it up the inside, buddy. Oh, not quite. Oh, around the outside. Good move, Pierre. All right, let's go back to deploy. Go deploy for both of them, I think. Alpha Tower regained a place. Okay, we are right with them, so I'm going to go neutral and standard and Yuki is with him as well he's with Perez so we'll see if we can stick with the a Red Bull probably not Magnuson's already over a second behind us did somebody spin out there we can take a look now all eyes on Kevin Magnuson here that's where they spin out. That'll help Yuki. Free spot. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Of course, Magnuson was running in the points. Science is in as well. Right, we now need to go. For both our boys, we're going to go aggressive on the tire see if we can pull away from the Alfa Romeo behind us Lewis sets fastest lap so far Perez gets around Zhou Guan Yu there and Yuki is hanging on We could switch back to the mediums actually later on. What did Verstappen go to? Verstappen and Sainz. They went to the hards as well. So they're probably not going to stop again. We are nine seconds off Lewis. Yuki fended off Charles there. Good job. The longer he can hold out against Leclerc, the better. 
course, Norris is right there as well, I think. Two cars out. Oh. Come on, crash. <laughs> Safety car again. There's been contact and several cars involved. Let's have a look. Now watch this. Here's Alonso's car. Goodness me, that is a serious collision. So we're going to go back to aggressive and push and deploy for both our guys. See what we can do here, eh? Looks like Leclerc's having a go at Yuki. Oh, Norris had a go at Leclerc, actually. They're three wide behind there, interesting. Alright, let's see what we can do, eh? We're already out of range of Lewis. That Mercedes is quick. That's fine. We got three seconds on Joe right now. So we're just going to push and we will see where we end up, I think. For both our boys. Of course, unfortunately for us now, um, I think Joe Guan Yu is going to get dragged back up to Pierre. If Yuki can stay with him, that'll be amazing. He's currently just hanging in there. Wait, what? Gasly leads? What did uh, Lewis go on to? What did Lewis go on to? Lewis on a set of mediums. No, we are gonna... We're gonna keep this for a bit, I think. Let's take a closer look. Now watch this. Here's the moments involving Albon. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The car's just gone. We'll watch Pierre. Box, 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 box. Try and save a little bit of the tire, I guess, and the engine, okay. if we can get a little bit of fuel back for when we go aggressive. So we got 12 laps. We should come out in front of that Aston there, so Vettel. I don't know if Ocon and Alonso are going to pit again. Alonso may not, actually. Six, good stop, boys. He should re-emerge in front of Nicholas. P15. And now we see... When we push, probably with about five laps to go, I think. Oh, somebody locked up. Joe, I think. A crash. Virtual safety car? Just a normal safety car. Okay, well we're going to go conserve. And now this is going to be a... push to the full-on aggression, because we don't need it now, eh? Let's watch Pierre. He's back into P10. Let's see exactly what happened there. Russell is out. Here's the replay. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. And that's a big smash. They'll have felt that. So Russell is out. Joe is behind us. We've got the best times of anybody in front of us. 
can take this off now. Before I forget. Like what happened in... Is it Canada, I think? I completely forgot about that. Okay, so when will they go? We're going to go deploy. Yeah. We're going to go aggressive. We've got eight laps to do this. We're going to go push. To be able to do this, I think. The freshest and best compound tire. Having a look at Lando straight away. Ferrari's fighting it out. Couldn't quite manage it. But we do have... There you go. All past both of them? Maybe. Around the outside of Sergio. Changes to the inside line right now. He's got it. Got the other. Oh, Perez fights back. Three wide? No. Yeah, Sergio just squeezed us out there. Up to P5. Five seconds, sorry, four seconds behind Max. And already two seconds in front of Esteban. Okay, I'm gonna harvest a bit of energy here. That was a very good lap. We're harvesting, we're saving a little bit of fuel, and we are still in range. So I think now we're gonna go aggressive. We're gonna go aggressive and push and deploy. Let's see what we can do, eh? We'll keep that on that for him. We'll go push and we'll go deploy. He had a look. Oh, dives it up the inside of his step in there. I think he might have managed it. He has. Let's see if we can get around Charles. Powers have passed the outside. Oh, what a move. We're just going to go full on aggressive. We have the tire to do this. We have the fuel as well. No ERS, unfortunately. Let's see if we can watch the air, shall we? As he hunts down the other Ferrari. The win is right there. That's a lockup. We can take a look now. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. That lockup could have cost them dearly. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like Lewis is gonna get the dub. He does. The air gets P3. Yuki's fighting away for oh, that final point. Lewis Hamilton with oh, the today. so close. Well, this weekend, Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. Imagine how chuffed they must be. A podium is a real feat, and it's been accomplished in style. The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. to say it was a solid drive from all three of them up there.
fantastic showcase for Formula One. I think Alpha Tauri will be very pleased with that result. This was thrilling to watch. They've done an excellent job and they deserve all the plaudits. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor standings. Coming up in the next round is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix as we head to Brazil. Join us next time at Interlago. For your race results, Lewis Hamilton gets the win, his first win of the season and maintains his streak of getting a win in every season that he has raced in Formula 1. Didn't manage it in real life, but he did in this game. So since 2007, he's had at least a win. Good job, Lewis. Science stays P2, gains what, 8 points on Charles. No, 6 points on Charles, I can't count. Pierre is third podium of the season and fastest lap, so we get our bonus money that we said before we even went to Mexico. Leclerc P4, good drive from him actually, up 14 spots from 18th to 4th, 12 points for him. Damage control, a real good effort. Max started from the pole, dropped down to P5 there. Alonso also a great drive, up 13 spots. P6, Ricardo up 1 to P7, Ocon up 12, P8, Perez up 1, 9th, and Lando Norris rounds out the top 10 there. Gets a point, drop, drop 3 spots, he started P7, couldn't quite match his teammate today. Yuki, first man out of the points there, he had a drag race with Lando for that last point, just couldn't quite get it. Guan Yu will be disappointed with that, down 7 spots to finish 12th. Magnussen down 4 to P13. Stroll had a decent day, up 1 spot there, finishes 14th. Albon and Vettel down a couple spots each, 15th and 16th respectively. Latifi stayed 17th, and then we have the guys who did not finish the race. George Russell in the Mercedes, Bottas in the Alpha, and Mick Schumacher in the Haas. Leclerc stays... 12 points clear of science. So Pierre gains 16 points on George there and is now what? 29 points clear with two races to go. Instructors wise, we gain four points on Alpine. So we are up to 26 points with two races to go. We might be safe. We might be safe. And McLaren pull out seven points on Haas there. So I think they're safe for P7. The finances we gain just under two and a half mil. Uh, once again, we have to pay out the bonus clause to Pierre. We nearly had to pay it out to Yuki as well, so not quite. Feel gutted for him because he was right there and uh, just needed probably what, a tiny bit more engine power, I guess, a bit more aggression, a bit more battery maybe. I think with a bit more battery, he might have been able to keep that P10 and outdrag Lando to the line. But hey. That's how it goes sometimes. So Mattia has gotten in touch with us saying that Liam Lawson has a couple of development points available. We'll pop those into him. I did see that Pierre had one as well. We'll be able to do that. I'm going to put it in defending because that is what he needs to do a bit better. And the other one was Liam Lawson had a couple points. I think we'll put that into probably smoothness. I think we'll put both of them into smoothness. Let's see if we can get that back up to like 50 or so. We'll just check if Yuki has one. Yuki does not have any. So it looks like everything will be kicking off before we head to Brazil in the next episode. We've got the scouts coming back. We've got the new aerodynamic testing period. Our weather center is going to be upgraded. We've got contract negotiations potentially i wouldn't mind trying to re-sign pierre before we get to brazil but we'll see about that so join us next time as we see if we can maintain p4 in the drive in the constructors championship and p6 in the drivers catch you next time thank you very much for watching everybody have an awesome day like subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.